Welcome to our first Heidi and Conan Gold Prospecting, just the panning. We've got our panning station all set up, added some surfactant to the water, breaks the surface tension. Believe it or not, gold really can flush. Craziest thing. Here again, what Heidi found picking through unclassified about an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. And here's what she found after we classified it. She found all this in the minus kitchen strainer classification. There was more. I saw and found more, but they were too hard to pick up with the tweezers, so I had to relent. Boy, Heidi loves picking through the dirt. What you looking for? My pan, so I can pan. Now I just need my pan and we can start out panning out this big stuff. Remember guys, this is completely unedited. Nothing's removed. All right, we're gonna pan out the big stuff. Don't suspect we'll find anything. I'd be shocked. Bad gum. <laughs> well, I'm gonna for sure like 100, huh? Not at all sure what I'm 100 on there. Panning is my favorite part. It's so relaxing seeing the material move in the pan and then getting to see the gold appear at the top. I forgot to get the squirty toy filled up. Well, we got our squirty toy all set up here. Let's get ready. Only a toy in your hands. Heidi said it's only a toy in your hands. To others, it's a tool. <laughs> That's funny in a couple different ways. The French call that an entendre. Boy, panning out big material, I always feel a little silly. Uh, realistically, if there's gold, it's going to be right down in that corner. If you watch a lot of other videos, prospectors out at the creek, you get a nice stratification on it, you just use your hand and shove the top third, top half right out of the band. This larger material, easy to keep your eye out, make sure you're not losing anything. Let's maybe roll it back, huh? Let me know your experience in the comments below, but at least personally, this part of the large material feels truly ridiculous. If there's any flower gold, the amount of water needed to move the larger rocks would actually have a chance of washing it down out of the pan, you know? So you just kind of play with it, you roll that water around, and you get what you get. Are you seeing anything? An amazing job. Of course, it would have helped if I had a little bit more water in the pan for that larger material. The real advantage looking through the larger, coarser material is, of course, if there is a piece of gold that big, you should be able to see it. No gold looks like another flawless victory for Heidi. Woohoo! Heidi always does a great job picking through, and although she was nice enough to compliment my panning, uh, panning is certainly a less discriminatory process than visually looking at every single piece. So while I pretty much never show this part in my videos, I always go through the material at least two or three times with a very close eye. Nothing more embarrassing than making a pay dirt review video where you're trying to showcase what someone's doing for a living and then failing to find all the gold. Back up pan. I'm always excited when I do a flawless job. Now, I didn't show it in this release of the video, but when I classified it, if you remember from the Pater review video, I classified this material dry. And uh, that comes across really good on cam, but in reality, you almost always want to classify 
wet. Uh, gold is heavy, it runs with the heavies. The flower gold is normally going to be next to or pressed against other larger pieces. And when you dry classify, you can lose some of that smaller gold. So that's what I'm looking for here on this third pan through. And there it is. One little piece of gold. I'm wrong. It's not gold. One little piece there looks like gold. Now it looks like silver. That's why you can tell it's pyrite, guys. I thought maybe you found something. I was like, no. Pyrite! And this part was a total accident. I actually meant to leave the larger material in the light green pan so I could go through the minus kitchen strainer a second time on its own. We'll have fun looking at him again later. Ah, time for the next video clip, guys. And now the minus kitchen strainer material here. Now Heidi said she knows she saw some gold in here. I sure did. We're gonna get it wet, give it a shake. There's some biologicals in here. You can see them floating around. Not too muddy though. This definitely had a uh, this definitely had a rinse or two. Not too bad at all. We're gonna give it a little quick rinse though, huh? Nothing helps you out quite like giving your dirt a quick rinse. You get rid of most of that mud and silt and any of those floating biologicals that get in the way while you're panning. More just a distraction. Wastewater bucket looking pretty full here. I will say I was surprised that Klesh Expert Pater didn't need more rinsing. Uh, it definitely did not have a lot of the sub 300 mesh material that I was expecting or a lot of the silt that tends to cloud the water in the more challenging dirt. Pour off most of those muddy organics can have a bit of an easier time panning it out. And it's a great way to stay in shape. It's a great way to stay in shape. Nothing like panning for gold to stay in shape, guys. Hope everyone enjoys all these South Park references, Futurama, Archer, we try to keep the hits coming, guys. But now for the best part here, we're ready to get into panning out the smaller material. And it goes pretty well. I'm actually going to set this down. All right, we got our minus kitchen strainer classification here. It's been soaking for a bit. I think we're ready to pan this out. Sweetie, would you hit start on our timer here? We're gonna see how long this expert painter takes us go. to running. pan out. Heidi's got it running. I had this bright idea that it'd be fun to run a timer, and then I feel like I kind of failed to incorporate it properly into the painter review video. I failed to mention the times. A couple times I didn't let it run. Do -do -do. But it was a lot of fun. What did you guys think of having a timer there? Is that something you'd like to see in future videos? That way I don't need to show all the panning, but you still get a real good idea how long I actually spent on it. Of course, this video is another way to go. I can just uh, make my pay to review videos and then release one of these where I show all the panning in the next video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like this method for panning through a larger amount of material where you put it in a pan and you get it wet and you kind of stratify it so you already know most of your golds in the bottom part of that light green pan. Here we are with pan number two. That means you can be real confident that first pan I did probably had no gold in it or maybe just a few little pieces. So you can process most of the lighter material out of your pan easily and quickly. 
but I encourage all of you to test your own methods and ideas. Panning into a pan is a real fail-safe. You're hot than you. Since when you're done, it's so easy to go back through and see what you missed. Gotta be careful, had to mute that. My singing will get us in trouble yet, guys. <laughs> and what's that? No, I'm saying it was more. It's too many lead lines. I got you. I think this part will probably be fast forwarded. Yeah, and while it was fast forwarded in the Pater review video, I really didn't think ahead to making this panning only video while I was singing the lyrics to a copywritten song. You can see a difference in the expert material as to how quickly that black sand starts to appear in the pan. Getting some uh, down to black sands already here in the corner there. Thought it looked, so excuse me, I thought it looked like it had quite a bit of black sand in it. Mm -hmm. And Heidi is not wrong. There is a ton of black sands in the bottom of the pan. You can see it appearing at the back and at the corners, which is where you always want to keep your eye out for losses at this point in the panning. You can see I start to tickle it more from the front edge. And here we go with the third and final pan, guys. Woo! Always both a happy and a sad feeling to put that last pan in. You know you're almost done with the bag. But this is a little different because it's an expert painter, so we got a ways to go. Baby, will you get some uh, TP? For me, and maybe just gently blot our stopwatch. The stopwatch is, of course, also my cell phone, which I wasn't looking to thoroughly coat with water. Thank you, sweetie. Can I get it off? Yeah, I think so. What's in the towel, Tom? <laughs> Got another Family Guy reference for you there if you caught it. This seems like a great time to uh, ask you to like and subscribe. If you've watched this far, you're clearly enjoying what you see. And uh, that sure helps the channel a lot. Something else you can do is leave a comment. We love hearing from you and we take the time to answer every single comment. It's a lot of fun to get that interactivity and know what you guys saw that you liked what you want to see more of and what you'd like to see less of. It really affects how I make the next video. So uh, if you've watched this far, I would think it's worth it to you take the time and uh, have that effect back on the channel to let us know what you enjoyed and maybe what you didn't. Got some exciting news too. Last night, Clutch Guitars shared the review video on his YouTube channel there under the uh, social tab so it showed up uh, as a link to our video. We rocketed to like 450 views, picked up like 10 subscribers. So if any of you are watching, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we certainly love doing pay dirt reviews, but we also love prospecting. So look for that with a little bit less shots of the back of my head. <laughs> In other channel news, our Patreon page has experienced a lot of growth recently. We've decided to open the uh, Pater of the Month group internationally to give people a chance that maybe uh, can't buy through the website right now. They can still experience some of those dirts. If you join this month in January, your Patreon reward is going to be the United Kingdom dirt collected by my partner Dave in the UK in the Northern Pennines mining region. 
This is an area that's been mined for over 2,000 years, guys. The Romans mined there. It's an amazing historical dirt and an incredible opportunity to get your hands on something that otherwise you'd have to really commit to a trip to be able to see in your pan. I guess I should mention for all the new people, our website is acrossthepondpater.com. That's acrossthepondpater.com. And uh, we started that in an attempt here to try and bring some really special and unique paters to people that otherwise couldn't travel to see them. Seven minutes, 27 seconds, we're already looking at gold. May only be seven minutes on the timer, but we're 13 minutes into the video here, Conan. <laughs> and that's part of why I wanted to make this video, so that anyone who wanted to could see the entire process panning out an expert level pay dirt from start to finish. Again, sorry for the back of my head. So you can see with this much material, we're already at risk of losing gold down in here. So we're actually a bit off more than we can chew, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, hit it like I would a usual dirt. You know, I panned it all down here. And now we have a lot. Unfortunately, I seem to do that a lot on cam. I start saying something, we've got a lot, and then I just stop. I'm so distracted by uh, all the beautiful material in the pan and the need to really keep an eye out for any losses to make sure that gold's not falling down. And if you look, I sure got plenty of dirt in my pan here. You guys, I'm sure, watch Clash guitars just like me, and for dirt like this, he'd probably add a spoonful. And this is well over a spoonful of dirt, guys. So when you do this dirt at home, feel free uh, to process it out a little more slowly. I was really looking to challenge myself in my panning. Uh. You okay? Yeah. Here's where it would have really paid to uh to a white Conan. It would have really paid to what? <laughs> have removed the magnetics. Yeah, and I am not wrong there. If you were to use a magic bit. Uh, on this dirt before you panned it out you could probably save yourself a half an hour uh, or more there is so much heavy black sand and you can be pretty confident that 60 70 percent or more of that uh, is probably going to be your magnetic uh, material magnetite and whatnot uh, so you can save a lot of time that way personally I did not get an expert pay dirt to save myself time or pan it out quickly. I got it to challenge myself and enjoy panning it out. And for that, I really think it's best if you leave the magnetics in the dirt. One little piece right there. one little piece like that is not even going to budge the scale so you really don't need to worry about losses on that scale but if you want to refine your panning you do over time those tiny pieces of gold can add up into quite a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Well, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed all my commentary, but we're about 20 minutes in here and it has taken me two days. So I am probably going to go ahead and throw uh, some groovy music up here and produce this and get it up for you. Uh, if you want to watch the rest, I sure appreciate it, and I'm sure you'll learn a lot watching us and eavesdropping on our private conversations. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you have a chance to leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. See you soon. There is gold all along the front edge here. You can see the gold from there to there to there. And say this feels like an expert painter. If you don't know what you're doing, your gold is going down here, you know? Awesome. Yeah. Let's check what we got here.
Alrighty. I feel pretty good about that. Pretty good about it. Okay, well, this is just one of the best bags I have ever done. Look at this, guys. We've got gold on all sides of the pan. We got gold all over the pan, guys. From this corner all across the front there. Look at that. All in that corner. Wow, guys. Tap it back up. That is really hot. Spank it like you mean it. That gold is not going anywhere in that dirt. That goal is just refusing to get buried like I want. So let's see if we got her situated now, huh? Look at all that gold, guys. All throughout there. 23 minutes.
I'm actually going to cheat. I haven't cheated in a while. I used the uh, spray bottle to draw the line. This stuff is maddening, honey. I'm sorry, sweetie. See, this is why you just suck it up with the snuffer bottle, huh? Mm hmm. I really thought I would cruise through this 20 minutes, you know? Yeah, it's just bam. Yeah, it's bam. It's not the case. No, it is not the case. Wow, baby. A lot of gold. Wow. Do you see that? I do see that. That is super awesome. Well, that is fun on a bun. Look at that, guys. Holy Toledo. That is not Micah. That is not Galena. That right there, my friends, is some of that flower gold. Holy cow. Look at it. Also, look how well it stays in place, guys. Yeah, gold, uh, gold does not move a whole lot in the pan. Wow.
Well, for 30 minutes, guys. Part of what makes this stuff so exciting. It's got a lot of mica and galena in it. Pyrite, enough to fool the eye. Then the uh, magnetics, the hematite, the magnetite, all push the gold down. So while you're panning, you got gold way down here. Confident enough? Well, I hate to admit it, but I think I'm going to need a break. You too? Oh, look at that. Show that to the camera, honey. Gemstones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my legs are asleep. Wow, <sighs> look at all of it. <laughs> 
All right, guys, we are at 35, 36 minutes. You want to pause that? We're going to pause that at 35, 59, and I'm going to take a break, guys. I'm going to get this wet so it stays a little damp, hopefully without blowing the whole pan up. Boom. Look at that. Let me drop them down in. Whew. 36 minutes in. Big payoff. Lots of color. What a beautiful pan. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a break and uh, come back and finish panning this out on cam. No worries. Bring you back in a bit. Gold. Friday night gold. It is Friday night gold. 2021 gold. First gold of 2021. First gold All right, guys, we are back. Here is our pan, all ready to go. Yeah, cheating a little bit, let's put that back. You gonna wash that back down. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. We were at 36 minutes. Add a couple minutes for that. Hell, we can add 10 minutes. I think we're gonna be here a little bit, guys. All right, happy with that. Let's bring the camera up here. So I don't have to hunch. How are the kids doing? Oh, they're good. Making progress. You can see right away, guys, the gold starts coming down, but it hits the pan and it sticks. And the black sand will flow over it. You don't need to panic. You can always snuffer bottle it. Klesh, uh, Klesh is a big fan of the snuffer bottle. It'll definitely help speed you on your way. But remember, after you snuffer it, you're still gonna have a snuffer bottle full of black sands and gold. You then get to put in a pan and pan out. That's why we're timering it here. I think in general, you're gonna spend exactly the same time. Either you snuffer bottle it, or do it this way. And you're gonna have about the same losses too. So it's more a matter of what brings you the most joy. What do you enjoy doing? You like the snuffer bottle? Use it. I personally love panning it out. Wow, yeah, I like this. How that looks right there, guys. Seeing that happen. Look at that, sweetie. My guy. Got a little piece rolling down there. You can see my sands are slowing down. Back. A little tap. Shake it out, make it nice and loose. That's what's really gonna help you, is keeping that material loose in the pan. You want the gold to have a chance to stick. 
for it to stick in place, it can't be on top of a bunch of black sand, right? It's gotta be on the pan. Oh yeah. Finally had it with that dog, huh? I guess so. Got some uh, new pets in the house. Uh, you can see that piece kind of flipped out there. That's okay. See now that it's landed, we'll keep a good eye on it. We've gained two more cats and a dog in. A little copper doodles. That's right. Cutest little dog. We'll definitely have to put a shot of him in. Her. Her. As well as learning that it's a girl. Name's Susie. I'm <laughs> not sure what my problem is. Since we never had a boy dog, we uh, our last dog was a girl also. Yeah, that piece is kind of firmly in place now, so we can get back to cruising until we have some more movers. And I'm probably taking longer than I need to with this, guys. Uh, part of doing a pay dirt is fun. When you're uh, prospecting, you spend, uh, you know, a few thousand bucks to make it out there. Uh, you want to find out where the gold is, start processing material. Uh, when you're at home, and you're doing a pay dirt, uh, it's really for your enjoyment. Uh, that's part of the reason I stopped doing the ROIs. Pater, it's not an investment, and unless you're selling the gold, you're not getting a return on investment, which is what ROI is for. You do, however, pay something to get it, and that would be a COA, or a cost of acquisition. And uh, I do think I'm going to start using that as our uh, quantitative measurement in our Pater review videos. Clash's pay dirt uh, fits right in with uh, most pay dirt there. He has a cost of acquisition at $100 a gram. His half gram bags are 50 bucks. Quarter gram bags are 25 bucks. You can see the math there. Not super challenging, right? And uh, it just makes an easy way to think of it when you're buying your pay dirt. Looking at a one gram bag, it's a hundred bucks. There you go. Wow, that's looking good, huh, honey? Mm -hmm. you seen any wash down? No, I'm trying to keep an eye. You just gotta watch your sides, your corners. This has a lot of very small flower gold. Mm -hmm. But guys, you can see that flower gold uh, that everyone's so scared of really doesn't move. You know, I'll get a little more aggressive than normally I would just to kind of show you. You can really kind of hit it. I don't know if you've been watching over on this side where all those little pieces are. Uh, they don't move. Oftentimes, even if you want them to move, they don't move. So, uh, oh, now see that piece flip down? Another piece. But I want to start breaking up the party here. That piece took a good jump down there, didn't it? I want to get some of these big rocks out and then we'll push him back up. Let's rescue him, huh?
All right. And now, Chad, that's gorgeous. You can see. Look at that. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're I'm fine. Show my finger in there. <laughs> And there goes one of the last of the big rocks. About eight minutes faster at 36. And I think this is a great point for my back to take a little break. I'm at it for eight minutes here. Wow, would you like to? I would like to try. Yeah, I can commit. Yeah, honey. Here, I'm going to try to get this out and this is the point where I really don't want to lose any of this so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna get our tool set back up we'll go ahead just let that timer keep running I'm not uh, not trying to show off or prove anything to anybody I'm just trying to give you guys an idea how long this takes and this is part of the process so now we're gonna aim our squirt bottle right down at that crack and now we're gonna go kind of slow we're going to watch. All right. I don't need it to be perfect. I don't need it to be perfect. I just need a good idea if I'm having any losses. So I'll tickle out what didn't just flow right out. And that way you're using this kind of like a sluice. So you got to... So your goal is going to be right up at the last bit normally. You see one piece of flour. See it right there? Avoid knocking that piece of flour out. But as usual, I mean, it really sticks. And there's another piece of flour. See it right there? On the edge. Bring that up to you guys. There's one piece of flour right there. Now that is never gonna move your scale, guys. If that's what you're losing, you're gonna be okay. But we kept it. I don't know if you can see it. Right there, one little tiny piece. So that's what we lost in that eight, 10 minutes of pain. So if you wanna pause our timer there, I'm going to moisten this real quick by washing that piece down. I'm going to wash our whole pan down from the top. And then we're not going to do anything to it because our timer's not running. We're just going to leave it moist here. Go ahead and hit stop. Take our break. And we can get more water or less water. We're going to hit resume. Got our timer rolling. How's that feel, sweetie? Scary. Don't be scared of it, baby. Don't be nervous. The little tiny flower bowl pretty much doesn't move. That's, it's literally hard to make it move. The gold that flips around is all gold that's relatively easy to see. It's your larger pieces, your flakes. And you're doing great, sweetie. Well, thank you. I've been watching you a lot. I like to watch you pan. It is a lot of fun. I'm going to drop them down a little bit. You're a little shorter than me. Oh. There we go. Is that easier? Mm -hmm. Does that look okay? It looks beautiful, honey. You can see you're getting that line of black sand there at the bottom of your pan.
see you got a lot of gold that's kind of damming up your black sand. Mm -hmm. So just hold the pan right back here at the back while you tap up here. You hold it the opposite side so it makes the gold go that way. Go ahead. So, yeah, so hold it right there. And the water down there. However you want the water, pretty level. You want, you want this kind of in the water, it helps the stuff move. There you go. Bam. See how that moved all your gold behind your black sand? Yep. Beautiful. And now you're up. You can shake it a little bit or just start moving it. See, see what you think. But yeah, that was beautiful, sweetie. See how easy that was? Yep. And don't worry. The gold's got to re reshift. The gold's all piled up at the back, so it's going to move around a little too. But see, that brought all that black sand down and out left it down and out. So now it's pretty easy to wash that black sand away. Woo. So all right. Also, just tap it back up too. I think you said hold it here. Not too much, or you'll start tapping the black sand up to it. Gotcha. But yep, see how it separated all the gold away from the black sand. Beautiful. No, no. See how that kind of freed up your black sands, though? Whenever you moved your gold, you moved your black sand a lot more than you moved your gold normally. And you can see now you get down to that real fine stuff. And so it's just about repetition. You just keep washing it over and over. Tap it out, shake it out, rinse it off. So look at that. About, uh, about four minutes so far it's taken me. Freaks me out when the gold goes shooting around. Yeah, what level? That's four minutes. Oh, you're doing beautiful, Kitty. Don't you think she's doing a great job, guys? I think Heidi did awesome. Thank you. Now angle the pan to, or whenever you're done, go ahead. I, I can't see as well as you. Uh, it's real fine. I'm not really sure I'm doing anything more than moving the gold about. That's fine too. Okay. Angle the pan uh, towards the gold a little bit so the water's over it and just kind of shake it a little bit. Yeah, just jiggle it, make a mess. Just trying to kind of loosen it up. Yeah, beautiful. Stop. See how that black sand hopped out? Yep. Now you can rinse that black sand away. Beautiful. Don't be scared of moving the gold. Yeah, see that was fine. The gold moved, but look, it barely moved and it took all the black sand. See that? Yep. Now maybe shake it again, see if any more black sand pops out. You can see you've got that uh, pretty crisp, crystal clear. Oh. No, you're fine. No, that was... You shook a little bit more out. No, wow. I didn't. Okay. I shook it in. Are you sure? I don't think so, honey. We can always watch the replay. You'll shake that, but it'll only hop up a little bit. It's not going to hop up all the way, you know? There you go. Seeing any black sand still in there? Now you got gold halfway down your pan. Yeah. This? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to call that done. Awesome. 
That was a lot of fun. Wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And look, sweetie, it only took you about seven minutes, six and a half minutes. That wasn't bad. Yeah. Should we ruck it up a little? Sure. I like this part. Oh my gosh. Uh, Here, let's really set it up. I'm gonna move this out of your way so that you can set that pan down and I'm gonna drop the camera down. In. There's a piece of gold sitting on his hip stop. Oh, look at all that gold. Look at it all. And that's without everything Heidi found picking through. I know, I'll be excited to get it all weighed up. Yeah, it will. Gorgeous. You want to rock in it? I know. It's fun. Let me get out of the way. Wow, there's so much of it. Let's get it dried up. Dried and weighed. Weighed and dried. No, you get it dry and weighed. Yeah. That one was a floater. Floaty big floater soon. Alright, now I'm just kind of playing with it. Playing with the dirt. And now it's time for everybody's favorite part. How much did Conan miss? I know I'm always excited to see. A good classification here. Sorry, a good stratification here. Pour off most of the water. Wow, you can see expert Pater totally different in the Garrett pan. Still able to make quick work. Because no pan is more expert than the Garrett. If the rest of you spot it, but I do see a little piece of gold. Mm -hmm. well, I wouldn't say oh no yet. Let's see if he has any right. Look at that piece of gold just stay right there in the bottom of the pan. Well, no bright gold ribbon at the top so I didn't suck.
Oh, I do have plenty of my hair in the pan. Yeah, I'm not even seeing any uh, flower here. All right. Let's wrestle it around here. And there it is. That's what we lost. One little piece of gold. Let's go put it back with its little friends. That was pretty cool though. Yep. Yep, there it is, down with all its little friends now. Well, that is a beautiful amount of gold there, huh, guys? It sure is. And it gets to join its friends. Well, that's right. You got all that, too. Heidi found picking through. Let's get it dried up. And wait up. Wait. Let's get it dried up and get it weighed up, huh, sweetie? Yep. Ah, oh, she's dancing. She's doing the gold dance.